Hi guys. Um, welcome back to another episode of my channel. Uh, I do have something to say and um, it's kind of like a follow up from the previous video. So Naughty is actually doing his work right now. So that's the reason why I'm filming this video in my room. My humble room as you have seen from the fashion video. <laughs> um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I mentioned in the title. Um, I feel like a lot of people do feel um, discouraged sometimes when they have to sort of resort to scientific measures to be accurate and um, I think it's an issue that people don't talk about often so I think I wanted to talk about it because I feel like I've been seeing a lot of um, of my friends not even just friends but sick video videos on TikTok talking about like um, intro vi in vitro fertility um, test and honestly it is quite close to me. It's not because not 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 that I did it, but um, I have people who are close to me that have done it, and I know that it's not an easy procedure. And there are some people that I know that have to resort to doing it because of some issues, genetic issues in um our bodies. And I feel like there's a lot of discouragement going around. Not really discouragement, but like um bad energy. I don't know how to say, it, but I believe that. It's tough for people like that so um, I just wanted to talk about it because I'm a kind of person that needs to plan a lot and if I plan and it doesn't go according to my plan it makes me even more anxious so I think I did think a lot before deciding to go ahead with this and the thing is what I want to share today is actually something called this smile ovulation test okay so um i'm not sure how many of you guys will resonate with this video or if you ever take a test before or if you even just feel like oh maybe i'm not the only one struggling um high five firstly because i do struggle with my planning as in my personality when i plan something and it doesn't go the way that i want i get very stressed out and I don't understand what's wrong with me because the thing is, I don't, um, I have my period monthly, very regularly. It comes really often, but the thing is, it's not that I try to prevent something or I try to make something work, but as you know, I did finish my master's program, but I'm left with the thesis that I have to write to graduate. So um, basically, I do have another six months of semester or school. I don't have to go to class but I have to work on my thesis, my proposals, and take some exams so that I can do the thesis. I don't want sort of the pregnancy to coincide with the time that I'm most stressed about. And basically after reading a lot of reviews and experiences on Google or watching videos here and there, I realized that on average, between the fourth to the sixth month, which is the second trimester, people don't feel so horrible, like they don't I have morning sickness much and you don't feel that tired all the time and of course there are mixed reviews um, but that's the period that I wish I can sort of fix my thesis writing period in so that's the reason why um, I decided to get this in the end to be honest I struggled a lot deciding whether I really wanted to go ahead with this because I suddenly feel the pain or, or the, the distress that mothers, IFV mothers have to go through because it sort of affect I think a woman's self-esteem when you cannot conceive naturally. Well, it's not that I cannot, it's just that because I want to plan, that's the reason I do it. I'm not trying to defend myself and all that but I, w I just want to say that it is so, so hard on the woman's heart and um just doing this is like maybe just 1% of something that I can feel that struggle to buy this or not. I really feel that struggle and I really feel that, oh, am I, am I like this? Do I have to do this? Like, 
약간 그런 엄마들이 더 very they will feel very um, I don't really know how to explain it but you do feel lousy about yourself basically and um, I think I just wanted to film this video at the beginning just talk about it a bit before I talk about how to use this is because I think it took me um, some time to come to terms that I do want to plan it according to time and not every but not everything happens according to plan of course but I'm a planning person and of course everything depends on God that's number one but the thing is I think uh, for me this was the best option for both of us and sharing with you guys because I wish that um, I can journey with those that are not feeling so confident about themselves also because I don't feel that confident about myself and yeah, I guess it's a struggle that you face after you get married and of course, if you don't want to have a kid, of course, you, this video is not really applicable to you but I think it's such a big thing in today's time and just that not many people are talking about it so I just wanted to come clean and come open and just say that um, you're not alone and I am not like those who are going through even worse i am not even worthy of saying this the struggle that you face is so much but um really big kudos to you and that's why i think like mothers are so weita what's weita like very big heart you know with the serious part done i wanted to sort of talk a bit about ovulation tests because i when i first because i'm in korea right i'm not sure in singapore how does it work but because when I first found out about all this kind of thing, I have to talk to my friends who are moms and stuff like that. And they did recommend like to use this kind of like a ovulation testing. And uh, apparently it's 99.9% .9 accurate. Accurate in testing when ovulation happens. So ovulation happens when the egg is released, sort of the mature egg. And I had to watch videos on how to work this. So throughout this video, I just wanted to show a bit of how it's being used because I think it's really interesting how I find out how to use it through other people's videos also. So, so uh, I'm not really sure about my cycle and stuff like that because I don't really keep notes. I just know it comes every month around the same time so I kind of can predict. I just wanted to just start off the video like that. And then nothing serious but I just wanted to come with a more mature tone because I feel that it's not a... I mean, it's not a thing that everybody has to go through of course there are happy stories but there are also sad stories sometimes and um i just wanted to reach out those kind of people yeah that's the reason why so join me on this few days journey as i journey through figuring out when the eggs released okay so let's hop to the next day Okay guys, hi. Um, this is um actually day four after I filmed the last part of this video. Um, I didn't really have time to film much because I have been having gatherings lately at home and celebrating Christmas. And actually today is Christmas, so um, I don't know how to feel about this video. But um, honestly, after four days of testing, I was thinking whether will it really work and um i want to share with you guys the process of doing it so i'm gonna show you what i've been doing for the last four days when it comes to this test so if you're thinking oh, will it really work guys it really works okay so i test around four o'clock so from two o'clock onwards i will stop eating except for yesterday because i kind of forgot so i took it 10 yesterday and the uh, numbers became really high what I've been taking recently I'm not sure if you can see but I've been doing it for 4 days because they told me to start on 21st so now um, I have 4 of it and can you see that the line gets thicker so this is the thickest line which was yesterday and it was kind of, it's kind of interesting because I never thought it would work but oh my gosh, it really works. So basically, if the line gets thicker, it means that you're drawing closer to your ovulation date. You hit the peak. The peak is when the ovulation is going to happen. So basically, when you see there's a peak, 
the baby will be smiling and stuff like that and then that's when your ovulation is going to happen in the next 24 to 36 hours so it will last for about two days so basically i hit my peak yesterday which is this one it was it goes by number so basically they're saying that if it's above 9.0 because there's this app that comes together with this test which is really interesting i feel it kind of tells you what to do i'll show you how it goes later but it's just, if it's above nine points it means that um that's the day that um you should be more aware that your ovulation is coming so there are obviously different signs as well like they will say your temperature body your body temperature will increase but i don't have a thermometer so i don't test and then you will start to produce a bit more stuff um, and that's um, up to your discretion. You can Google about it, but yes, you do. So um, I think it's really, really, very interesting. So today I'm going to test to show you if it really works. So you, cause it usually lasts for two days. And yesterday, I was kind of drinking a bit, but it came out. So this test is kind of indestructible, yeah? Okay, so um, it's about 2 o'clock now. So I'm going to stop eating and stop drinking for the next two hours. And then I'll go ahead and do the test and tell you how it goes along the app. I'm not very sure if in Singapore they have this kind of thing as well, but I think the fact that it links to an app, you can take photos and stuff, is very, very um, interesting and very good. So, yeah, I'm excited. See you later, two hours later. Okay, guys, it's 4 p.m. already, so I'm going to go take the test. Let me show you what it looks like first. So basically, what you take out is like that. And then behind, there is this like um, bar where after you take the test, you have to put it on here. So, I'm gonna open it. Okay, the test looks something like that. So basically, you have to paste it here once it's done. You can see, right? Now you have to leave it here and then you have to take a photo of it. So, let's go try now. I haven't peed in the last one hour and I didn't eat or drink anything. So, let's go try. Mr. Nati officially went in already and uh, I just went to prepare like a soju cup, it's plastic. So what you want to do is you want to pee here and if you're looking at it and you're wondering, will we touch your hand? Yes, it will touch my hand. Just wash your hands after that, okay? I used like a bowls and all that before but then it's not very useful. So here it's very good because it's transparent. When you put this in for the pee to like being sucked up by this test kit, um, it's easy to see. And what you want to make sure is the P only can, you can submerge it until this line only. So don't do more than that, okay? Because it might spoil the kit. And then you want to submerge it for like 5 seconds. And then after that, I will show you how it goes using the um, app. So I'm just going to go in, P, and then I'm going to come out and I'm going to show you how it goes. You want the P? Okay, I'm kind of done. And I'm going to leave it here so you guys can see. In line. And then the app, this is the app that you're looking at yesterday as you can see and then this was the suchi from yesterday so as you can see the highest one was um, here 9.1 which was yesterday so we're going to take a look what is today's one so what you want to do is you have to click this one this button and then they, you have to take it at 10 yeah this one you have to take it when it's 10.05 they will give you an alarm asking you to take the reading now so when you want to take you have to take the photos like this so i'm just going to show you how it works later yeah okay so as you can see they will send an alarm for you to take it now so then you press this and then you want to match like the lines Oh, okay. So after you take it, you want to make sure that um, the lines are in line. This too. So this is the line that will tell you what suchi it is, which is the number. So today one doesn't look so strong. Let's see how it goes. So as you can see, they say that after you hit the peak, the what, the number will go down. And here they say, until today the chances of getting pregnant will be really high so as you can see it went down already since yesterday basically the day of um, ovulation is today the peak is before ovulation so i think this probably means that it's today that the ovulation is going to happen so 
it was like 9.1 then 3.5 so it dropped right so this is the day the ovulation happened this after so basically after you hit the peak the ovulation will happen in the next 48 hours so between two the next two days after the peak which is yesterday um that's when the time you want to kind of try to um be pregnant i don't know how accurate it is but we'll know in the results so that's actually how you really use this um test kit uh, i'm not very sure if this helps but uh, maybe i'll try it tomorrow one last time to see if it really goes down to see the difference for this so just now you saw there was a peak before that but this one is different already so let's see how it goes so this is what i usually do after i will come and paste it and i'll write it down Today is December, and I took it at 4.30 again. 30. Feels weird, but okay. That's how you keep track of ovulation. Okay, so this is a continuation of um, the video from yesterday. So today is day... Three. Six. I think day 6 of taking video and not this year is because um, yesterday I sort of revealed what it was to him already so this is the test that I've been taking i show you guys right so the yesterday one was a bit different it went down so basically when it goes down it means that um, the ovulation will happen on the day so yesterday so see oh it's actually very small huh? yeah so this is the test kit and I sort of explained to him how it really works so today I'm going to take my maybe last two tests and this is how it looks like. I feel like it's good to have your husband with you. Yeah. So that they can support you through the journey. Mm -hmm. Support. Support. Yeah, and then because yesterday we kind of watched like a video of how actually it really happened. <laughs> it was so hard. I feel yes. so bad for those that died along the way. I think I know why. Well, I think we need to learn from Joseph's school in Kaukau. Right. Dive in later. <laughs> it must be very hard, right? Oh. Yeah, so that's the stick. Okay. Okay. So, this one on here. One on here. Oh. So later, like, I'll show you how to do it and then um, I will see how Mr. Naughty does it. Do it. Okay. Okay. No, wait. I'm ready. No. Five. You have to wait for the timing. You only can do it at 10. 10 minutes. <gasps> First, can you see? There's nothing yet. Oh, shit. Then how? So you have to wait long. 10 minutes. Uh. Okay, show the time. Okay, this is... So once it's 10, they will tell you it's time to record. Can you see? You press. So get ready. So you have to record it. <sighs> so that's how you do it. I haven't been able to show you guys, but that's how you do it. Yeah, so hard. Yeah, it's very hard. I always have a very hard time. You can redo again if you cannot. It doesn't work. Oh, not bad. Ah! <sighs> Ah. Okay, is it in the line? You see? Yeah. Okay, then you press. Hug in? Yeah. So small. Uh. Okay, then they will tell you what? So chigan is It's low. Yeah, so. 1.0. Means it already went down already. So that's how you do the ovulation test. So what do you think about it? I mean, I heard it last night in the room. So it was amusing last night. Today, I just get to see how it works. But I think it's quite useful because we. We think that you know getting pregnant is easy. Mm -hmm. I think we only know how to avoid pregnancy. Yeah. Most of the nowadays young adults, but mm. we do not really know. Even you also didn't know, right? Right. We didn't know how to make it pregnant. Mm. So, will you recommend it? I think if you are interested to have kids, should be better at the at the yeah. mix mm. fixed time, right? Because I think it is the worst. Let's say you got the kid, but because. Let's say you didn't hit the right time, then you know it's like let's say the baby was there, but it's not optimum or what. Mm. So I think if you're gonna try to have kid, I think try to get the most optimum sweet spot. <laughs> okay, so I think it's quite interesting because a lot of videos that I watch usually the girl does it alone. It's quite interesting to have you here. Is it? Yeah, really. Because I make this video to show people how to do ma. Please correctly. Done. Hi guys, um, so if you watch the beginning part of the video, 
that was actually the very first time that we tried the ovulation test in Korea. So basically, I think that is one of the better tests that um, they offer in Korea. Um, I understand that in Singapore, they use the clear blue one. And that's what I've heard from my friends. For the one in Korea, I think I haven't tried many brands, but this is the one that I think is very fuss-free. Of course, you have to read Korean, but it's kind of similar. That's the reason why I showed the steps from before. So I don't think one is more accurate than the other. So the main point of um, filming it is actually to show you guys if you guys are interested in using this one because it's way cheaper than clear blue. And the clear blue one is really expensive. I bought it also and it wasn't cheap. And I'm not sure, I mean, of course you can use it like um, for 10 times and then you'll just have to test it one time every time or test a few times. I'm not really sure how the clear blue ones works. I tested it once and it happened before, but I tested it a few times and it didn't happen before. So as you can hear from my speech, um, basically there is no surprise to this video. Um, I just wanted to say that I, me and Noti, have done this ovulation thing for about two times already because I think we were trying to match the timing of having like a child and something like that and I really planned it all out in my head already because I really wanted to like match everything according to time and that's just me as a person I, I just have to plan ahead of things and what I realized in this journey is not a lot of things um, go according to plan in the sense that there is sometimes the things that you want and the things that you wish would go the way that you plan just don't happen and it's not because of what you did or what you didn't do sometimes it's really just not up to you um, no matter how hard you try and you feel like you're a failure because it doesn't work what I realized through this journey is through all the crying and disappointment the um, hopes and um, the plans that sometimes it's not just about you and no matter what you have tried to plan to, to, to make it work Sometimes it just, there's some circumstance that you cannot control and I've learned it very um, specifically through this journey and I wanted to say that it was not easy coming out here and taking this video. Honestly, I took really long to come here and just take this video. Of course, because I just wanted to look more presentable, so but not like put makeup and stuff, but just don't want to be so sad about it but honestly I'm really okay already because I kind of like just ditched my plans okay I had a plan for me I'm a very planning person I had a plan my parents screwed up and because when my plan screwed up it takes me time to recover <coughs> I want to say that <coughs> we're in a dire state now it was just because I always thought that you know it will just happen if I try if we try but no matter how healthy you are no matter what happens just there's something I realized you just cannot control all. and filming this video and this part of it I just want to say that my heart goes out to all the mothers to be or even people who are planning to have a kid and if it doesn't work um, I've been there and I know it is I'm not even in a dire state yet it's just because of two months I want to try and it doesn't work and it becomes like that and even the first month we didn't do it properly like I don't even know if I was like taking the test properly people always around me they say like oh you know what it just happens it just happened don't worry it will happen and when you keep hearing this kind of stuff and it doesn't happen you start to question your self-worth you start to question your ability you start to question a lot of things around you and you just feel very lousy about yourself I don't feel it that often but for the last two months when my um, period came I didn't know what came over me I was just so broken and so devastated because of the expectations that I have of myself and it began to question, I began to question a lot of things around me not just me but Mr. Noti as well and both of us did take some time to work it through and we realized through this journey that really it's um, having a child is really God's gift and 
he only he knows when is the best time for you to have kids and so couples to have kids they're really blessed and it just means that they're on time and um for those who are still in this journey i want to just let you know that you're not alone to the girls and the boys the men and the women whoever you are out there watching this video you're not alone um my heart goes out to you our heart goes out to you and I just want to say that I have so much respect for those IVF mothers as well because I've seen my sister-in-law go through it and I know it's such a tough, tough, tough journey and she has been personally supporting me in my journey like introducing me what vitamins to take and stuff so if you guys are interested, maybe I can introduce the vitamins that she took and she is a success story of IVF um, her two precious babies found her four years after she started trying for um, babies and I'm very very thankful for her and the support that comes from the people who know which is basically just my Korean family and um, I know it's not easy to speak about it sometimes because we don't normalize um, pain or we don't normalize struggle so I just want to put it out here and honestly I hesitated a lot because I don't know what my family or my friends would think about it and if you see this video of my family and friends, you might reach out to me but don't worry, I'm totally fine with you, that's the reason why I can take this video. So yes, I just wanted to say to continue, I really respect those mothers because it must be so 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 tough for you to go through that journey and I did think about it sometime like what if I have to go through it, can I deal with it? And what I realized is when the time comes, when you have to deal with it, you just do. And I believe always that that's the beauty of being a woman, that's the power of being a woman. Not that men, you're useless, but that is my point of view of how I can express um, the feelings that we go through as um, a girl growing up, being married and having a family and having pressure. I mean, not, not, not that anybody's pressuring me, but having that need to you know give birth and stuff like and take care of your kid but for me I think it's more like we just feel that it will kind of not say complete our lives but we're, we're completed already but just something more fun for us because we're kind of friends at the same time and we are husband and wife but we are the kind of people that always stay at home and we realize that it would be such a joy to have this kind of um to do, you know, like just journey through this new phase of life together. So if you're watching this video, please pray for us. Um, I'm not sure when this video will go up. Um, only when I think it's appropriate and it's time to, for me to upload it, then I will. But thank you to our EFM for joining us in this journey. I know that um, we're not that interesting to some people and... Uh, <laughs> Um, some once in a while I come out with this kind of heavy topics because I feel that not that I have a gift but I do want to reach out to people like that because I know it's not easy in this world to be real and to be who you really are so this is me this is who I am this is who you are and um, I just wanted to say that thank you so much for being with me and um, Naughty yeah so I'm just gonna cut the video here and I just want to say that I love you guys for always being for us. Thank you for supporting us. And please do look forward to the other videos. And please continue to support us in all we do. And hopefully one day we will bring you good news. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.